Hey everyone, welcome back to Foster's Kitchen. Today, I'll be making a whole baked herby salmon paired with roasted potatoes, carrots, and a side of tasty Brussels sprouts. It's a simple, healthy recipe that's perfect for sharing with friends and family. Let's get started. Find the complete list of ingredients needed for this recipe below. Let your fishmonger descale and cut the fish for you. Let's begin by creating a base for our salmon with potatoes and carrots. Start by thinly slicing the washed potatoes with a knife. Alternatively, using a mandolin slicer is quite simple. If you're confident in your knife scales, go ahead but always prioritize safety. I'm leaving the potato skins on because they are packed with nutrients that are good for you. Transfer the sliced potatoes to a baking tray, then thinly slice the carrots. Evenly spread the sliced potatoes and carrots onto the baking tray. Add salt in crushed smoked chili seasoning. Finely chop two sprigs of rosemary. Sprinkle the rosemary over the sliced potatoes and carrots for that aromatic flavor. For the marinade, finely chop curly parsley in dale. Add thyme, just the leaves for the marinade. Roughly chop green chilies for a bit of heat. In the food processor, blend together onion, garlic cloves, a thumb sized ginger, parsley, spring onions, and fish seasoning, which unfortunately I forgot to capture on camera. Now incorporate the blended ingredients into the herb mixture. Add a tablespoon of smoked paprika, a sprinkle of crushed white and black peppercorn, a squeeze of lemon juice, and salt to taste. Mix well. I'm not adding olive oil because the fish comes with its own natural oil. Now slice a lemon. Remember to remove the seeds and set it aside. We'll use it for the fish. Now place the salmon on top of the sliced potatoes and carrots. Score the fish with vertical slits on both sides to let it soak up the marinade. I've got a generous 2.5 kilos of salmon, enough to serve eight to 10 people. Salmon is an oily fish rich in omega-3 fatty acids, high in vitamin B, and also a good source of protein that keeps you feeling full. Pour the marinade over the salmon, making sure it gets inside the fish. If you're enjoying this content, please consider subscribing. Be sure to coat both sides thoroughly to ensure the flavors distribute evenly. Fill the cavity with few sprigs of thyme, rosemary and dill inside the fish. Place some lemon slices inside the fish with the rest on top of it. In a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius, 
Bake the salmon for 15 minutes. Then reduce the heat to 180 degrees and continue cooking the fish for an additional 20 minutes. While the salmon bakes, let's prep the Brussels sprouts to accompany the dish. I've already washed the Brussels sprouts. Now trim the edges and cut them in half. Brussels sprouts are loaded with nutrients, high in fiber, and packed with vitamin C and vitamin K. Also thinly chop one shallot in some dill. In a saucepan, heat a few tablespoons of olive oil. Add the Brussels sprouts. Cover and steam for four to five minutes. Let them develop a slight char or burn. It adds a whole new depth of flavor. Grate garlic and ginger over the sprouts, then toss in shallots, black pepper, and chipotle chili seasoning to your liking. I've never been fond of Brussels sprouts until I started experimenting with this recipe. It's simple, but really tasty. Mix well and saute for two minutes before adding fresh dill. Pour the cooked sprouts into a bowl and toss them with pomegranate seeds. This adds a delightful crunch and sweetness to the sprouts balancing out their natural bitterness. The salmon is ready. Perfectly moist with an amazing crispy skin. Now it's time to plate up this delicious dish. The salmon also pairs well with salad, rice, or any side dish of your choice. This fish is not only delicious, but also healthy and incredibly easy to make. Let me know in the comments below if you'll give this recipe a try. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing, like, and share. Until next time, 